Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new Gem Knights coming out in a Power of the Elements, which is actually set to be released relatively soon in the OCG, but let's go ahead and hop in and find out if they're actually any good. The real question is, are we going to be getting Brilliant Fusion back? Alright, so starting right off, we have the Gem Knights Quartz. This is a level 4 Earth Fairy Effect Monster with 1500 attack, 1500 defense points, and it says... You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. The first part of the effect is if your opponent controls a monster, you can discard this card to set a fusion continuous spell directly this from your deck. Also, you can ask for some monsters from the extract for the rest of this turn, except for Gem Knight monsters. Okay, that ruined it. I was like, yo, you can search future fusion broken because that lets you just dump so many things to the grave, but yeah, unfortunately. I mean, I guess later, but the, at the same time, this is the problem. It should have been like the next turn you couldn't summon them, because like, that would make more sense, especially with Future Fusion, because you're not getting that card this turn anyways, but maybe that's a better thing. Either way, that's a huge disappointment already, that you can't splash in everything. Second part of the effect is, if this card is used as fusion, or used as material for a uh, fusion summon and sent to the graveyard or banished, you get to add one Gem Knight uh, monster from your uh, graveyard to your hand, except for Gem Knight's Quartz. All right, pretty fantastic card overall. It's probably just for the Gem Knights though. Uh, although maybe some other deck can make use out of it because it does say um, you can't spell some monster from the extra deck for the rest of the turn. So you could still go for, you know, potentially stuff from like, you know, your main deck and stuff uh, like that. So next up though, we have Brilliant rose which is a level 2 light rock effect monster with 500 attack 500 defense points this card is always treated as a gem knight card the first part of it says you can only use the first effect of this card's name once per turn the first part of the effect is you can discard one gem knight or melodus card to special summon this card from your hand once per turn you get to send one gem knight or a melodus monster from your extra deck to the graveyard this card's name type and attribute become the sent monster's original name type and attribute until the end phase okay this is really weird I don't even remember the Melodus. Is that, that the, the fairy archetype? I gotta double check on this for uh, purposes of, you know. Okay, yeah, that is the fairy archetype. Why are they mixing these together? Does it maybe for like the lore or something? I don't get it though. I didn't know that those had any synergy. Um, next up though, we have Gem Knight Lady Rose Diamond. That is a earth fairy fusion effect. Um, so level 8, 2700 attack, 24 defense points, uh, 1 gem knight uh, monster uh, plus 1 fairy monster. First time, the first part of the effect says, the first time a gem knight monster or monster you control will be destroyed by a card effect. During each opponent's turn, it is not destroyed. Okay. Second part is, when your opponent activates a monster effect during your turn, as a quick fit, you can banish 1 gem knight card from your graveyard during one face of card your opponent controls and destroy it. Eh. Again, no negations equals no go for like high level meta play. But let's see the rest of this out, because gem knights, well, it's pretty much just brilliant fusion that was splashed into everything. Next up though, they are getting a new continuous spell card that says you can only use the first effect of this card's name once per turn. That probably is something you're going to be using for the first part of the effect. It says, if your opponent controls a monster, you can fusion summon one non-rock gem knight fusion monster from your extract. Use a monster from your deck as fusion material. Also, you cannot special summon monsters from the extract for the rest of the turn except for gem knight monsters. Uh, when this card leaves the field, destroy that monster. Now, as far as I remember, Brilliant Fusion is still banned. Um, uh, okay, so we are in okay, so in the TCG it's banned in the OCG it's at one Yeah, I mean at the end of the day That's the card that still is way better because it doesn't lock you to anything and it gives you that extra uh, I forgot the um, uh, uh, Was it Seraph Knight? Is it spelled with a, oh gosh, what is it? Uh, okay, what was the Gem Knight? Is it Gem Dash Knight? Oh, okay. There was only one good card that people would go for, pretty much, and that was the card that let you bring out, like, another one. Yeah, okay, Seraph Knight. Okay, that's how it was spelled. I just didn't know the spelling on it. Uh, but, yeah, uh, you just get an additional summon, and you're not locked to anything. I think that if, if they want us to splash us in everything, because they gave us the ability to search out anything, but they're like, mm, maybe Gem Knights only. But this card still has some potential for other decks. Um, I know the Infernoids, they don't really need the extract potentially, like, that turn immediately. Heck, even in builds, um, there was a Light Sworn deck that was playing this a while ago. Heck, you can run this, it, like, Future Fusion just in general opens up broken plays. Uh, but for the rest of this turn, you're locked to Gem Knights. So, uh, again, this card might see some plays, some weird combos. So be on the lookout for Gem Knight Quartz combo decks in the future. But uh, let me know, guys, what other combos that can work off this card. Because I don't really feel like they want us to splash these in. Because that's the only time Gem Knights saw competitive play was literally Brilliant Fusion. That was it. But anyways, thanks for tuning in, guys. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like on it. If you're new here and do want to be up to date on more new Gem Knights when they get announced, and power of the elements or any other new cards 
you're new here, subscribe, turn the bell, and you'll see more. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. And I'm out. Peace.